Qui-Gon Jinn himself, Liam Neeson, is back in the Star Wars family. This was confirmed at Star Wars Celebration. We know that he's coming back for Tales of the Jedi. He's reprising Qui-Gon's role in that story. Super excited about that. Couldn't be, couldn't be happier. But in a recent interview, he had said that Star Wars hadn't approached him. He wasn't going to be in anything. If he was going to, he would want to do it live action. And um, yeah, that leads me to Obi-Wan. I think he's showing up in episode five. All right, so the current active theory is that each episode of Obi-Wan is supposed to mimic certain things from the corresponding Star Wars episode, right? Like we had um, references to uh, the Phantom Menace in episode one. We had references to Attack of the Clones in episode two and so on and so forth. That's why I'm so excited for episode five, because Empire Strikes Back is one of my favorite Star Wars films of all time. And in that film, we get our first Force Ghost and we get the introduction to the mentor, as well as we get so much amazing Force lore. Oh, I hope that is the connection. So from my point of view, this connection can come one of three different ways, right? Uh, you can have Quinlan Vos show up, right? He had the name drop. He might be back at their base. We could have Yoda be involved somehow. Don't know exactly how, but I mean, they're all still in cahoots and Yoda's alive, chilling on Dagobah. Uh, you know, maybe he sensed something. Don't know. But I think the most likely scenario is Qui-Gon Jinn showing up. And here's how I want it to happen. Ewan McGregor is not Alec Guinness, and that is the point, right? This whole story is trying to bridge that gap of how he became who he needed to be in A New Hope. That's the story I'm most excited about hearing. We have a tracker inside of Lola. I think they're gonna find it early and they're gonna realize they're coming for us. They're coming in right now. And I think Obi-Wan is going to be terrified. Obviously, he didn't stand up to Vader last time. He got molly -whopped and it was bad. And I think in this low, low moment, he's gonna be paid a visit by Qui-Gon Jinn. A lot of Obi-Wan's fear is going to come from the fact that he's not the same guy he once was and he wants to be. You know, he's not the same Obi-Wan that we saw in Revenge of the Sith and he doesn't know if he's going to be able to reclaim that in time. And that's when Qui-Gon is going to step in and tell him, good, you don't need to be that Obi-Wan again. The role of the Jedi, the role of the Force, the role of, of his uh, saving the galaxy has fundamentally changed and he needs to adapt with it. You see, Vader is expecting to get the same fight that he did in Revenge of the Sith. He's been fantasizing about it for years. We have this in the comics and we saw what he did last time they met. He's been thinking about this moment, that fight, over and over and over again. And the only way that Obi-Wan is gonna be able to beat him is by being a different person. And he's gonna to start to affect a lot of Qui-Gon's mannerisms and he's gonna step up his game. I'm hoping that when they face off, he does exactly what he did at the beginning of his fight with Maul. He's gonna start out in the classic Obi-Wan Sarisu. And then he's gonna pull the saber in and go to the Qui-Gon Jinn pose. And that's how he's going to beat Vader. Also, he's going to do it from the low ground. That's just my thoughts. But let me know what you guys think. If this is something you want to see, uh, if you are predicting that it's going to happen, I need to get this video out soon <laughs> so I can say uh, I was right. And also, I can just delete it if I was wrong. Anyways, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. I appreciate it. Thank you. And may the force be with you.